Hi. In this video, I'm gonna take you through a yoga sequence that's gonna help you increase your flexibility. And if you're new to Roman to yoga, I'm Casey. Make your way onto your back. Clasp your hands up overhead, extend your legs long, and take a full body stretch. I invite you to set an intention at the beginning of today's yoga sequence. Draw your knees into the chest and gently rock from side to side. Note that your intention can be a word or a phrase. Whatever first comes to your mind, don't overthink it. Come to a seated position. Extend your legs long, flex your ankles, sit up tall, Walk your hands forward, return to a neutral spine. Hip hinge forward, exhale to a neutral spine. Next time you hip hinge forward, find stillness. Draw your low belly in and up, squeeze your shoulder blades together, close your eyes, feel the stretch. Can you come just a little bit closer? Find your edge. Release the stretch. Press all four corners of the left foot into the right thigh. Walk your hands towards your right foot. Sit up tall. Walk your hands to your foot. One breath with one movement. Go slow. Note, this is your yoga practice. Don't focus on what I look like on the sh screen. What's important is alignment, not aesthetics. Next time you hitch, hip hinge forward, pause. Breathe in and breathe out. Come just a little bit closer to the mat. Release the posture. Extend the left leg long. Draw all four corners of the right foot into the left thigh. Walk your hands towards your left ankle. Find a long spine. Hip hinge forward, straight spine. Next time the hands walk forward, pause. Notice that your upper back isn't rounding. If it's rounding, it's sending your body a signal to back off just a little bit you don't have to go very far today to feel the benefits of a hamstring stretch. Your body is exactly where it needs to be. Things will open up over time. Breathe in, release the posture, extend the legs long, shake the feet out, flex your ankles, and if available to you, clasp onto your toes. Draw your low belly in and up, Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Create space between the top and bottom rows of your teeth. If you can't soften the muscles in your face, how are you to soften the larger muscles throughout your body? Find your personal best. Wherever you're at today, take note of it. Place a bend in your left knee. Flex your right ankle. Walk your hands towards your right foot. Pause. Breathe in. Exhale, find a neutral spine, then walk the hands forward. Note that at any time you want to pause, you can. Are you up on your fingertips today? Are your palms flat against the mat? Where would you like to be? Breathe in, exhale, release the pose. Draw the right knee in a little bit closer to you. Come onto your elbows. If you feel good onto your elbows, then come all the way onto your back. Clasp your hands up overhead. Turn your head to look right and left a few times. 
Note that you don't have to come down onto the floor today. If you're sitting up, that's fine. It takes time. Breathe in. Breathe out. Focus on the posture at hand. If you think about what is to come, you will miss out on the right here and the right now. All you have is right now. Come up onto the elbows, extend the left leg long, shake out the feet, place a bend in the right knee, sit up tall, walk your hands towards your left ankle, hip hinge forward, exhale, come to a tall neutral spine, walk the hands forward, come back to a neutral spine. Next time you hip hinge forward, find stillness. Flex your left foot, create some space in your toes. Notice that there's a slight micro bend in your knee. Keep your core tight, tucked and engaged. Release the posture, draw your right knee in towards your hip just a little bit closer. Come on to your elbows and if it feels good to you, make your way all the way down onto your back Clasp your hands up overhead. Turn the neck to look left and right a few times. And then find stillness. Breathe deeply. Release the pose, extend the right leg long, rock the feet from side to side. Place a bend, come to a seated position, and place a bend in both knees, separate them hips width distance apart. Set your bum in between your feet, come down onto your elbows, and then come all the way down onto the floor if available to you. Clasp your hands up overhead. Turn your head to look right and left a couple of times. Find the next neutral position. Breathe in. Breathe out. How does this feel in your body today? Is it bringing anything up for you? I hope that you're not talking to yourself negatively. Come up onto your hands, release the legs. And the easiest way for you, come to hands and knees Press the big toes together, separate the knees to the wide edge of the mat, and extend your arms long. Rest the forehead down onto the mat. Breathe in, breathe out. Walk your hands towards the right edge of the mat. Press your left shoulder blade a little bit closer to the floor. Notice as the right shoulder blade lifts a bit. Walk your hands towards the left edge of the mat and place, envision that your right shoulder blade comes a little bit closer to the floor as the left one lifts up. Breathe in and breathe out. Make your hands way back to center. Smile to yourself softly. Come to your hands and knees. Walk your feet towards the back of your mat. Place a micro bend in your knees. Firmly press into your hands. Come into the downward dog. Step your right foot forward in between your hands. Lower your left knee 
onto the mat. If you need to pause this video and grab something to support the knee, do so at this time. Place your hands on your hips and hinge forward and then return to a neutral position. Can you feel the stretch in your left hip flexor? How does it feel? Next time you come forward, pause and then walk your hands down towards the mat. Walk your right foot towards the right edge of the mat and then open and close your right foot. So all four corners of the feet will come off the ground and then firmly press back down into the ground. So you'll open and close your right knee. Next time the right knee opens up and you're spinned out onto the right edge of the foot, find stillness. If this doesn't feel good to you, come out of the posture. Extend the right leg long, place your hands on your hips and hip hinge forward. Exhale, lower down, inhale, lift up. Flex your right ankle. If you have blocks, feel free to grab them at this time if you want to bring the floor closer to you. You can stay in the hip hinge position or you can walk your hands down to the floor if available, whatever feels good in your body. Release the pose. Place a bend in your right knee. Place your hands down onto the mat, hip hinge forward. And if you want a little bit more, clasp your hand onto your left ankle. But if that doesn't feel good for you today, don't go there. Clasp your right hand onto your left ankle. Breathe deeply. Release the pose. Come to hands and knees, curl your toes under, extend your legs long, and come back into downward dog. Place a generous bend in your knees, extend the left foot up towards the ceiling and place it in between your hands. Lower your right knee down, place your hands on your hips and hip hinge forward. Notice that the top of your right foot is firmly pressed down into the mat. And if this is hurting your right knee in any way, Pause this video and either bend your yoga mat for some additional cushion or grab a towel from your bathroom. You don't need any fancy props for additional support. Now place your hands down onto the floor and open and close your left knee. All four corners of your feet will come off the mat when you open the knee. Breathe in and breathe out. Do you notice a side that is tighter than the other? That's completely normal. Acknowledge it, but don't pass judgment on it. It is what it is. Next time you open the left knee out, pause. Find your personal best. You're already here. Sit up tall, extend the left leg long, place your hands on your hips and hip hinge forward. Exhale, lower down, inhale, lift up. If available to you, rest your hands onto your mat. You can bend and straighten your elbows a couple of times if you want some movement. You can also grab onto your blocks. Bring your toes a little bit closer to you. Now hip hinge forward. Take your left hand and clasp onto your right ankle. Keep your gaze down at the mat. Adjust your foot as needed and breathe deeply. Feel the stretch in your leg.
How often do you make time for stretching? Once a day? Once a week? Once a month? Release the pose. Come to hands and knees. Separate the knees. Hip width distance apart. Round the back up. Curl the spine down. Cat and cow just a couple of times. Go slow. Breathe in. Breathe out. If you have a yoga strap or a belt, I invite you to grab it at this time, but note you do not need it. Come to a cross-legged position. Your right foot should be on the out, outside. Sit up tall, roll your shoulders down and back a couple of times. Breathe in, lift the arms up, exhale, lower the hands down. Lift and lower the hands at your own breath's pace. One breath with one movement. Bring a little bit of heat to the shoulders before you find stillness. Next time the hands lower down, grab onto your yoga strap. Separate the hands far apart. Lift the hands up overhead and bring them slightly behind the head if available to you today. Lift up and lower a couple of times. And again, bring them back behind you. If you don't have that range of motion into your shoulder blades, it's okay. It's something to work on. Yoga is inquiry. It's trying to do things, not judging yourself if you're not there, but acknowledging it and asking yourself, do I want to work on this area or do I have an injury and I just, it's not available to me. Next time the arms lift up over and overhead and slightly behind your head, find stillness. Imagine that you're pu pulling the yoga strap apart. Now, if you're using a, a blanket or any clothes, don't ruin your clothes. I, I don't want you coming for me. But if you've got that yoga strap, pull it apart. Remember to breathe. Soften the muscles in your face. And lower the arms down. Drop the strap for a second and roll out your shoulder blades. Readjust yourself. Clasp onto the onto your strap, but this time only about shoulder width distance apart. And then lower towards the right, come to center, and then lower towards the left. If this is too intense to lower from left to right, feel free to drop the strap and clasp onto your elbows. Whatever feels good in your body. Lift up and over towards the right, Find stillness, then lift up and over towards the left. Find stillness. Return to center. Feel as if you're pulling the yoga strap apart. Close your eyes, lower the hands down, place your hands on your knees and roll out your shoulders a couple of times. Lower your ear to the left, lower your ear to the right, and then lift and lower your neck a couple of times. Clasp onto the yoga strap about shoulder width distance apart, maybe a little bit closer. Lift the hands up and overhead, place a bend in the elbows, lower the yoga strap down towards your neck, and then lift back up. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Is this an intense feeling in your shoulder blades? Do you work at a desk and maybe you're curled forward all day and this is forcing your upper back to straighten out? Breathe in and breathe out. Next time the hands lower down, find stillness. 
feel as if you're pulling the yoga strap apart. Can you squeeze the shoulder blades just a little bit more? Sit up just a little bit taller. Release the pose. Switch the cross of your legs. So this time your left foot should be in front. Place your hands on your knees and roll your shoulders up and back a few times. Breathe in. Breathe out. Compensation after the intense work in your shoulders. Clasp your hands up behind your back and lift them towards the ceiling and lower towards your lower back. If your range of motion isn't very far, that's okay. Just go as far as you can. Things will open up over time. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower the arms down. Next time the hands lift, pause. Breathe in, breathe out. Lower the hands down, roll out your shoulders. Lift and lower the hands a couple times. Lift the hands up towards the ceiling. Exhale, lower your hands down. Go slow. Next time the hands lift up overhead, clasp the fingertips together. Lower the right hand down, place a bend in the left elbow. Clasp on to the left elbow with the right hand. Now your left hand should be the palm, the palm should face flat against your back. Don't curl up your fingers. Now you'll probably feel some rounding into your back, which is completely normal. Adjust yourself as needed if you start intensely sweating. Um, now take your palm and press it into your back. Press it into that rounded spot if you can. Release the pose and then roll your shoulders out. Place a bend in your right elbow. Clasp your hand onto the right elbow and take your right hand, the palm. Notice that the fingers are lift and spread. Press it against your back. Kind of help straighten out your back just a little bit. Now, if, you're, if it hurts, don't do it. Um, and then envision your left shoulder blade is moving toward, your left elbow is moving towards the back of the room. Envision the alignment in your body. You may not be perfectly symmetrical today, but perhaps one day. Release the pose. Circle out your shoulders a couple of times. Now, if you're using a strap, grab onto it. You don't, you don't need a strap to do the next posture, but it's always nice to have one. I'm gonna show you an example because you're going to try to bring the hands to touch. So lift your left elbow up, place a bend in the elbow, clasp onto the strap, and then take your right hand with the other strap. Now start walking your hands closer together. Okay, if you can't walk them together, just take that right hand and pull down a little bit. So this will pull your left hand closer to your right. But if available to you, walk the hands together. Release the pose, place a bend in your right elbow, and then place a bend in your left elbow and try to walk it up to your right hand. And once again, if not available to you, just take your left hand and pull that yoga strap down. It'll, it'll bring your right hand just a little bit closer, maybe millimeters. But once again, things will open up over time. How often are you stretching the upper back? I'm guilty of not doing it. What about you? Release the posture, circle out the elbows, bring a little bit of movement. Now take your hands, place a bend in your elbows, walk your hands up your back, and then firmly press the palms into one another. So it's a prayer position, but in your upper back or your middle back or even your lower back, wherever you're at today is completely fine. 
You are exactly where you need to be. Close your eyes. Come back to the words of your intention that you set at the beginning of today's yoga sequence. Release the pose. Clear out your space. And the easiest way for you, curl your toes under, sit up tall, extend the arms forward, bring your right hand to your right ankle and your left hand to your left ankle. Go at your own breath space. Bring both your hands back down onto your ankles. Breathe deeply. If it's too much to come to your ankles, bring your hands to your low back. Close your eyes. Focus your attention on the right here and the right now. Release the pose. Bring your big toes together. Separate your knees towards the wide edge of the mat. Sit back onto the heels. Extend the arms forward. Rest your forehead in the wide-legged child's pose. Release the pose and make your way onto your back. Hug your knees into your chest and gently massage out your low spine. You did a lot today, a lot of intense stretching. Separate your feet, mat width distance apart, and take just a couple of moments to digest your practice. Come to a comfortable seated position. Draw your hands to heart center and always commend yourself for making time for you. Bye. Let me know what kind of yoga video you would like to see. Have a great day.